Hey everyone, Jared Nickel uh, here again to uh, continue my Sega Saturn uh, overview. So what I've gone and done is I've connected the uh, the Saturn to the uh, HD TV you see behind me here. Uh, it's not the greatest quality television in the world, but whatever, it'll it'll do for our purposes. So let's go ahead and boot this bad boy up and see what happens. Keep in mind uh, the battery is dead, uh, so obviously it's going to be like sort of like the initial boot. So yeah, this is what would happen when you would buy the system for the very first time. You have to set all this BS. But this is what would normally happen when you boot the system. And you're taken to this. This is basically the uh, system dashboard, if you want to call it that. It's extraordinarily high tech. Uh, you can actually play doo -doo -doo, music CDs like this. That's right. So let's go ahead and do that. Just show you what this is like. There's nothing else I can really do because I don't have the VCD uh, card inside. So it's not like we're going to watch any VCDs. Yes, that lovely annoying sound. I don't know if you can really make it like hear it with the with the speakers here. But that annoying sound is what happens when you open and close the disc door. So that's standard. It checks the uh, format and then it goes ahead and it will tell you some information about the CD. You can play a song if you want. And you know, there you go, okay? Uh, that's basic. That's a basic function of the uh, Sega Saturn. It's pretty well exactly what you would expect from um, from a uh, a console released uh, around the mid '90s. It's exactly what the uh, PlayStation offered. Nothing uh, too fancy. Okay, so that pretty well concludes the overview of the. Uh, of the Sega Saturn. I'm going to uh, now focus mainly in on some of the games. I don't have too too many um, you know blockbusters here at the moment but I think I have enough to uh, show you guys some pretty neat stuff. Okay so just keep on watching. 